सी आई ई टी एन सी ई आर टी प्रेजेंस ऑडियो बुक ऑफ जियोग्राफी फॉर क्लास एट एंटाइटल्ड रिसोर्स एंड डिवेलपमेंट दिस इज द लेसन सिक्स ह्यूमन रिसोर्सेज फ्रॉम पेज नंबर सिक्सटी टू टू पेज नंबर सेवेंटी वन लेट्स लिसन टू द लेसन ह्यूमन रिसोर्सेज Page number sixty-two. People are a nation's greatest resource. Nature's bounty becomes significant only when people find it useful. It is people with their demands and abilities that turn them into resources. Hence, human resource is the ultimate resource. Healthy, educated. and motivated people develop resources as per their requirements human resources like other resources are not equally distributed over the world they differ in their educational levels age and sex their numbers and characteristics also keep changing on the top left side of page number 62 There is a red box which reads do you know the government of india has a ministry of human resource development the ministry was created in 1985 with an aim to improve people skill this just shows how important people are as a resource for the country there is another do you know box which reads pradhan mantri kaushal vikas yojana pkvy was started in 2015 aiming to train 1 crore indian youth from 2016 to 2020 the objective of this scheme is to encourage aptitude towards employable skills by giving quality training to probable and existing wage earners on the right side of page number 62 there is a colored box in which there is a diagram of a teacher and her three students teacher asks how many people do you think there are in the whole world the girl in school uniform answer there are 500 children in my school then the boy in school uniform answer there are 30 children in my class then the boy in yellow t-shirt answer my village has 1000 people then in the another diagram of same teacher and her three students there teacher asks how do you write that in numbers the boy in school uniform answer around 6.6 billion people page number 63 distribution of population the way in which people are spread across the earth surface is known as the pattern of population distribution more than 90% of the world's population lives in about 30% of the land surface the distribution of population in the world is extremely uneven some areas are very crowded and some are sparsely populated the crowded areas are south and southeast asia europe and northeastern north america very few people live in high latitude areas tropical deserts high mountains and areas of equatorial forests many more people live north of the equator than south of the equator almost 3 quarters of the world's people live in two continents asia and africa 
60% of the world's people stay in just 10 countries. All of them have more than a hundred million people. On top right side of page number 63, there is a diagram of the pattern of population distribution in figure 6.1, entitled World Population by Continents. In this diagram, the pattern of population distribution is given in six different colors. Yellow, orange, purple, blue, red and green. It is mentioned in the diagram that the yellow color people live in Asia, orange color people live in Europe, purple colored people live in Africa, blue colored people live in Central and South America, red color people live in Northern America, and green color people live in Oceania, Australia, New Zealand, and the Pacific Island. There is a chart given in figure 6.2 on page number 63. In this chart, the population of different countries has been given using a graph. On the x-axis, the population in million are given and on the y-axis, the name of countries are mentioned. The highest population as per this graph is of China. Then at the second number it is India. Then comes USA. Then Indonesia. Then Brazil, Pakistan, Bangladesh, Nigeria, Russian Federation and Japan. Now take a world map. Then locate and label these countries on the outline of the map. The graph used in figure 6.2 is taken from the census of India. 2011 Provisional Population Totals, Paper 1 of 2011 Indian Series 1. On the right side of page number 63, there is a green box which reads Activity. Study figure 6.1 and find out. Of the world's total population which continent has A. Only 5% B. Only 13% C. Only 1% D. Only 12% Page number 64 Density of Population Population density is the number of people living in a unit area of the Earth's surface. It is normally expressed as per square kilometer. The average density of population in the whole world is 51 persons per square kilometer. South Central Asia has the highest density of population, followed by East and Southeast Asia. In the middle of page number 6, there is a diagram of one girl and a boy. Here, the boy asks, When all the 30 students are present, our classroom seems very crowded. But when the same class is seated in the school assembly hall, it seems so open and empty. Why? Then, the girl answer because the size or area of the hall is much larger than that of the classroom. However, when all the students of the school come into the hall, the hall too starts looking crowded. On the top left side of page number 64, there is a do you know box which reads Average density of population in India is 382 persons per square kilometer. Factors affecting distribution of population Geographical factors Topography People always prefer to live on plains 
rather than mountains and plateaus because these areas are suitable for farming manufacturing and service activities the ganga plains are the most densely populated areas of the world while mountains like andes alps and himalayas are sparsely populated climate people usually avoid extreme climates that are very hot or very cold like sahara desert polar regions of russia canada and antarctica soil fertile soils provide suitable land for agriculture fertile plains such as ganga and brahmaputra in india wang he chang jiang in china and the nile in egypt are densely populated water people prefer to live in the areas where fresh water is easily available the river valleys of the world are densely populated while deserts have spare population minerals areas with mineral deposits are more populated diamond mines of south africa and discovery of oil in the middle east lead to settling of people in these areas on left side of page number 64 there is an activity box which reads find out in figure 6.2 of these countries how many are in asia color them on world map page number 65 social culture and economic factors social areas of better housing education and health facilities are more densely populated for example pune cultural places with religion or cultural significance attract people varanasi jerusalem and vatican city are some examples economic industrial areas provide employment opportunities large number of people are attracted to these areas osaka in japan and mumbai in india are two densely populated areas on right side of page number 65 there is a pink box which reads glossary life expectancy it is the number of years that an average person can expect to live population change the population change refers to change in the number of people during a specific time the world population has not been stable it has increased manifold as mentioned in the figure 6.3 why this is actually due to changes in the number of births and deaths for an extremely long period of human history until the 1800s the world's population grew steadily but slowly large numbers of babies were born but they died early too this was as there were no proper health facilities sufficient food was not available for all the people farmers were not able to produce enough to meet the food requirements of all the people as a result the total increase in population was very low in 1804 the world's population reached 1 billion 155 years later in 1959 the world's population reached 3 billion this is often called population explosion in 1999 40 year later the population doubled to 6 billion the main reason for this growth was that with better food supplies and medicine deaths were reducing while the number of births still remained 
fairly high. Births are usually measured using the birth rate, that is, the number of live births per thousand people. Deaths are usually measured using the death rate, that is, the number of deaths per thousand people. Migrations is the movement of people in and out of an area. Births and deaths are the natural causes of population change. The difference between the birth rate and the death rate of a country is called the natural growth rate. The population increase in the world is mainly due to rapid increase in natural growth rate. At the bottom right side of page number 65, there is a diagram given named figure 6.3 World Population Growth. In this diagram, the growth in population of the whole world has been shown in the form of single units. For example, in 500 BC, the population of the world was 100 million. Then, in the year 0, the world population was 170 million. Then, in the year 1000, the world population was 265 million. Then, in the year 1500, the world population was 425 million. Then, in the year 1800, the world population was 900 million. Then, in year 1900, the world population increases to 1625 million. Then, in the year 1950, the world population increases to 2500 million. Then, in the year 1974, the world population increases to 4000 million. Then, in 1999, the world population increases to 6000 million. And it is also depicted in the diagram that in year 2025, the world population will be 8525 million. Page number 66. On page number 66, a balance of population has been given in figure 6.4. This figure has three diagram in it. All the diagram has balance beam in that. First diagram depict how population increases. In this diagram, the birth rate is more than the death rate and hence population increases. In the next diagram, the population becomes steady when the birth rate and the death rate are same. Then, in the third diagram, the population of the country decreases because the death rate is more than the birth rate. Migration is another way by which population size changes. People may move within a country or between countries. Emigrants are people who leave a country. Immigrants are those who arrives in a country. Countries like the United States of America and Australia have gained in numbers by in-migration or immigration. Sudan is an example of a country that has experienced a loss in population numbers due to out-migration or emigration. The general trend of international migrations is from the less developed nations to the more developed nations in search of better employment opportunities. Within countries, large number of people may move from the rural to urban areas in search of employment, education and health facilities. On the left side of page number 66, there is a pink box which reads Glossary Immigration When a person enters a new country Emigration When a person leaves a country 
patterns of population change rates of population growth vary across the world which shown in figure 6.5 although the world's total population is rising rapidly not all countries are experiencing this growth some countries like kenya have high population growth rates they had both high birth rates and death rates now that improving healthcare death rates have fallen but birth rates still remain high leading to high growth rates in other countries like united kingdom population growth is slowing because of both low death and low birth rates page number 67 On page number sixty-seven, there is a world map given in figure six point five. In the map, differing rates of population growth has been highlighted. There is key given to read the map. Population composition. How crowded a country is has little to do with its level of economic development. For example. both bangladesh and japan are very densely populated but japan is far more economically developed than bangladesh to understand the role of people as a resource we need to know more about their qualities people vary greatly in their age sex literacy level health condition occupation and income level it is essential to understand these characteristics of the people population composition refers to the structure of the population the composition of population help us to know how many are males or females which age group they belong to how educated they are and what type of occupations they are employed in what their income level and health conditions are at the bottom right side of page number 67 there is a colored box in this box the role of people as a resource has been given in the form of diagram there is an old lady who says i tell stories to my grandchildren there is an engineer who says i build bridges There is a singer who says I sing at weddings. There is a housewife who says I take care of my home. There is a scientist who says I am researching for medicines to cure cancer. There is a farmer who says I am a farmer. At the bottom of box it is also written think Every human being is potential resource for the society. What will be your contribution as a human resource? Page number 68. An interesting way of studying the population composition of a country is by looking at the population pyramid, also called as an age sex pyramid. a population pyramid depicts the total population divided into various age groups for example 5 to 9 years 10 to 14 years the percentage of the population subdivided into males and females in each of these groups on page number 68 population pyramid has been given in figure 6.6 on the x axis the percentage are mentioned and on the y axis age group in years are mentioned according to this population pyramid the population in the age group of 0 to 4 5 to 9 and 10 to 14 is the maximum in both male and female whereas the population above 60 to 64 is the least as we go up through the age group numbers 
we see that total number of people in that particular age group are less, which means more number of people are there at younger ages, but very less number of people are there in the older ages. There are three diagrams given on page number 68. In first diagram, there is a boy who asks, What is this triangular looking diagram? The girl answer, This is a population pyramid. Then, in the second diagram, the boy asks, What's that? The girl answer, It shows the present number of males and females in a country along with their age groups. Then, in the third diagram, the boy asks, can I play detective and investigate the population of a country? The girl answer, Sure, let's study three countries. Page number 69 The shape of the population pyramid tells the story of the people living in that particular country. The number of children below the age of 15 years are given at the bottom and reflect the level of births. The size of the top depicts the numbers of aged people above 65 years and reflects the number of deaths. The population pyramid also tells us how many dependents there are in a country. There are two groups of dependents. Young dependents, that is, aged below 15 years and elderly dependents, aged over 65 years. Those of the working age are the economically active. The population pyramid of a country in which birth and death rates both are high is bored at the base and rapidly narrows towards the top. This is because, although many children are born, a large percentage of them die in their infancy. Relatively, few become adults and there are very few old people. This situation is typified by the pyramid given for Kenya. Figure 6.7 on the top right side of page number 69, there is figure number 6.7. In this figure, there is an image of population pyramid of Kenya. In countries where death rates, especially amongst the very young, are decreasing, the pyramid is broad in the younger age groups because more infants survive to adulthood. This can be seen in the pyramid for India. Figure 6.8 Such populations contain a relatively large number of young people and which means a strong and expanding labour force. In the middle of page number 69, there is figure number 6.8. In this figure, there is an image of population pyramid of India. In the countries like Japan, low birth rates make the pyramid narrow at the base, which is given in figure 6.9. Decreased death rates allow numbers of people to reach old age. Skilled, spirited and hopeful young people endowed with a positive outlook are the future of any nation. We in India are fortunate to have such a resource. They must be educated and provided skills and opportunities to become able and productive. At the bottom right side of page number 69, there is figure number 6.9. In this figure, there is an image of Population Pyramid of Japan. 
page number 70 exercise first answer the question given here number 1 why are people considered a resource number 2 what are the causes for the uneven distribution of population in the world number 3 the world population has grown very rapidly why number 4 Discuss the role of any two factors influencing population change. Number 5. What is meant by population composition? Number 6. What are population pyramids? How do they help in understanding about the population of a country? Second, take the correct answer. Number 1. Which does the term population distribution refers to? A. How population in a specified area changes over time. B. The number of people who die in relation to the number of people born in a specified area. C. The way in which people are spread across a given area. Number 2. Which are the three main factors that cause population change? A. Births, deaths and marriage. B. Births, deaths and migration. C. Births, deaths and life expectancy. Number 3. In 1999, the world population reached A. 1 billion. B. 3 billion. C. 6 billion. Number 4. What is a population pyramid? A. A graphical presentation of the age, sex composition of a population. B. When the population density of an area is so high that people live in tall buildings. C. Pattern of population distribution in large urban areas. Third. Complete the sentences using some of the words given here. The words given here are sparsely, favorable, fallow, artificial, fertile, natural, extreme, densely. When people are attracted to an area, it becomes dash populated. Factors that influence this include dash climate, good supplies of dash resources and dash land. Page number 71. Fourth, activity. Discuss the characteristics of a society with too many under 15s and one with too few under 15s. There are hints given, which says need for schools, pension schemes, teachers, toys, wheelchairs. Labor Supply, Hospitals The chapter 6 of total 6 chapters of the book ends here. Narrator, Pragya Jha Producer, Vimlesh Chaudhary Presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India